one radial blur. Just drag the radial blur effect to the clip. And this adds some dynamic to your product shot or to your shot in general. You can also decrease and increase the smooth strength. You can keyframe it as well to create a smooth transition. To zoom blur. When you have a camera movement that moves towards the person, you can add some zoom blur. I love this effect. You can also add keyframes as well again. Let's make a transition with it. Let's start with a high zoom amount and then let's go to zero. Three, the flicker edition. This one you can drag on the clip as well. With this effect you can let it seem that the light in your room is flickering. You can also adjust the speed. I'm gonna show you how it looks like a little bit speeded down. For edge detect. For this one you will have to duplicate your clip first and then drag and drop the effect. This creates some outlines to your clip. You can modify your composite mode. Like you see there are a lot of options. You can scroll a little bit through it and choose the one that you like the most. I'll use the inverted alpha. And that immediately brings me by 5. Fade-ins and fade-outs. This is just a fade-out, really easy to make in DaVinci. Now the effect is faded in and faded out. 6. Camera shake. This is a really useful effect if you want to get the attention of your viewer. You can also speed it up or speed it down. And there are also a bunch of other settings. 7. Adjustment clips. With an adjustment clip you can edit multiple clips at the same time. That's for example useful in the color grading. Add a new node. There you can make the white balance a little bit more bluish for example. Yeah, I exaggerate a little bit to show it. And both clips are blue at the same time. You can also adjust the position at the same time. And all other settings as well. And now that we're here, I will make a new adjustment layer for 8. Gaussian Blur Transitions. If you add Gaussian Blur to your adjustment clip, then fade it in and fade it out, you will get a smooth transition between the two clips. 9. Green Keying. Go to the color rating, add a new node, name it Remove Greens or something like that. And then add the alpha output, connect everything to the alpha output. And then select the green color. Now make sure that your range is perfect, that everything except the green screen is black. And then reverse it. You can see that it has some green edges. You can solve that by cleaning the blacks. Effect number 10 are gradients. Gradients are really likable to add as backgrounds or overlays. You can customize the colors as well. That's it, I hope you liked this video. If you would like to have more DaVinci tricks or tutorials, make sure to subscribe.